While in St. John the Baptist Parish sits the historic Soraparu House, although Hurricane Ida heavily damaged it. WGNO's Ashley Hamilton tells us why one organization hasn't given up hope of bringing it back to life. For nearly 200 years, the Soraparu home has been part of St. John the Baptist Parish. It was built for free people of color in 1825. Within the walls, lies many memories. We're on the German coast. German immigrants came in, they were farmers, they started raising produce. Fast forward to 2021, Hurricane Ida blew a large tree on the house, damaging it. The repairs, very costly, leaving the owners with little hopes of rebuilding it. In so many other parts of the lower uh, Mississippi River uh, you know, region, that those stories have been lost because people have just moved away. Uh, and so I think this makes it even more important to save this, this house and these stories. That's Brian Davis with the Louisiana Trust for Historic Preservation. The story of the home is one of the many reasons he says they wouldn't let the home falter anymore. Now, they've obtained a $25,000 grant to assist with repairs. It's really important to keep the uh, integrity of the and the stories alive and the culture uh, here alive along the, the River Road in St. John the Baptist Parish. Repairs funded by the grant can only go so far. To keep the home in its story alive, donations are needed. It's an area that is very uh, vulnerable right now for the potential of encroachment of industry. We've gotten some estimates from uh, preservation contractors and uh, we need probably an additional 35,000 in order to complete the project. Davis believes the stories of middle-class free people of color who owned and farmed their land should be told. He sees this as a place people can come and learn more about what life was like back then. Generations have lived here on this land. I mean, I think that with tourism that comes here to learn about the stories and learn about this part of America's history, that it's, it's really a, a, could be a benefit to them, but also doesn't force them out. Ashley Hamilton, WGNO News. And for more information about contributing towards the Sora Peru House project, you can visit our website for more details.